Hi, I'm Spiders, and as a top player, I've seen a lot of questions on whether Blade Harper is OP or garbage, and besides that, how exactly are you supposed to use or counter this oath effectively? All of those questions will be answered in this video, let's get into it. Now, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the reveal mode, and whether or not you should be using it. Now, because of the long animation, you have to use it at the start of the fight, and you have to decide whether or not you want to commit to it, or just cancel it early. It's not really practical to use this in the middle of the fight, because you can just get hit by your opponent during the long windup. I mean, I guess you can run away, but, you know, your opponent can also chase you, and it's just kind of a pain to deal with. But really, the windup and all that aside, I really don't think you should ever be using this mode, because it has some really huge drawbacks that are really bad for it. In the back when you're seeing a sped up fight, and you can really see just how fast your HP is draining from Wither, it is insane and it makes sense there would be a drawback right because you get some really nice benefits from having removal on having the permanent air dodge attack which i'll talk more about later and also all the other benefits when you uppercut and get some extra damage and all that but honestly if your opponent has any defense skill whatsoever like the grab button is not completely broken then in my opinion there's almost no chance that you'll be getting more damage than your hp is draining and the hp drain is just way too much it is insane you can see i can't even like go full time match without being drained to zero from this and that also comes with the full wither effect which means you can't even heal any of this damage back so that is really, really bad. I seriously do not recommend using Reveal. Not just in Chime, but also in Overworld as well, since that Wither Effect will be a bigger deal there too. So yeah, I highly recommend avoiding using Reveal. Now besides that, we also get two monsters, of course, being Palm Strike and Decimate. Unfortunately though, I also think that these monsters are super underwhelming, at least just from what we know so far. At least in their base form. Palm Strike, it just has a super long windup, really bad hitbox, and like honestly, for all of that, it does like no damage as well. So I really don't understand why you would ever use this monster. It's just bad all around. And Decimate, honestly, I think it suffers from the same problem. It's just nothing crazy all around. It's just mediocre windup and damage. And it's really just nothing crazy, especially compared to the other oaths. Like Death Striker, you have a really good monster, Jet Kick, Big Strike, all that. Or even the no requirement oaths like Dawn Walker having Radiant Kick, which is still pretty good. So yeah, super underwhelming monsters. And also, they have a pretty long cooldown as well, just from what I've seen. So that doesn't help either. So of course, right there, I was just talking about these monsters in their base form. Not using True Strength or Reveal, which activates True Strength. So yeah, now these monsters do have a pretty considerable damage buff when you do have true strength active, which makes them pretty solid in my opinion. But the problem with that is, like I said earlier, the first way to activate true strength, which is reveal, is really really bad because of the HP drain, so you should never be using that, so you can't really get that benefit from that. However, there actually is one other way to activate true strength, which is landing consecutive M1s in a row without taking damage. But the problem with this is that this is extremely hard to proc in most situations. Now, the talent that gives you this benefit doesn't specify how many M1s you have to land in a row, but just from quickly testing it out, I can tell you that that number is 5 M1s. But that doesn't change depending on your swing speed or weapon type. So that can be 5 light weapon ones, 5 medium weapon ones, 5 heavy ones. So of course, light weapons can be easier to land on ones, and so it's gonna be better on light weapon. So yeah, light weapon gets a free buff as usual, gets great. But of course, if you're not medium, then there is a high requirement, so maybe that makes up for it. But that aside, landing 5 M1s without taking any damage at all is really difficult, and you really shouldn't underestimate that. For example, if your opponent has gaze, good luck ever proccing that, because that 6 true damage that they get from gaze for free is pretty much almost impossible to avoid at this point. And that will interrupt your 5 M1s in a row that you need. And obviously, there's other stuff like that too, like taking one hit from a multi-hit monster or something like that. So honestly, that is super hard to activate. And even if you do, the true strength activation that you get from that talent really does not last for long at all. So the benefit is really small as well. Although one thing I like to say is that on certain weapons, this can be a lot easier to proc. Something that a lot of people don't know, and maybe the devs forgot this, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but a lot of weapon crits count as M1s, and you can use this to proc true strength which is really helpful on some weapons. For example, if you use the Curve Light of Winds crit, this crit actually counts as an M1 landing. And since it's a multi-hit crit, every tick of that multi-hit counts as M1 landing and can contribute to proccing true strength. So if you happen to be making a build that takes advantage of a weapon like that, then maybe this build could be better for you. So just throwing that out there, maybe that'll be helpful to some people but good to know. Alright, now so far if you've been listening, pretty much everything I've said about this oath makes it seem like it's pretty mid all around, or just like not good in general. But there is one good thing about this oath I'd like to mention, which is float like a butterfly. Now what this talent does is basically whenever you have true strength active, which is unfortunate by the way, but when you have that active, whenever you do an air dash, you will immediately do a bunch of slashes, which are very powerful. Now there are a lot of reasons why this is good, and the first of which is that this has no cooldown, so whenever you do an air dash, you can basically spam this and really take advantage of that, which of course having no cooldown is always going to be something very nice. Now besides that one powerful thing about this move that I'd like to mention is that for some reason it just has like no AP frames, you can just throw this out whenever and it is very hard to deal with. You'll probably fix this by next week, but for now if that's something good, you can use that if you want to. Now besides that, the best usage for this ability that I found is using it as a counter. If you've been using this ability a lot, something you might have noticed is that it gives you a ton of iframes throughout the entire move and you basically can't get hit at all. Now after you do an air dash, you will immediately get those iframes and immediately begin attacking. And from that, the best usage for this ability that I found is using it as a counter. 
Basically, whenever you have true strength active, whenever you think your opponent's going to be able to hit you, you can just pop that and get some free chip damage. And I haven't really seen that many people use this ability like that, but that is a really good usage of it, and I bet more people will start doing that with the days to come. Assuming that they actually make it easier to proc true strength, which I really hope they do, given how hard it is, and given how big of a downside there is with reveal. So yeah, this is a really good ability. You can just spam it if you want to. I mean, that'll work against most people right now because of the lack of AP frames. But of course, when you start finding better players, that won't work as well, and you want to start using it more accurately. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. Alright, so that was basically all the info that you need to figure out how to use this oath properly. But just to summarize, some key points are that you really want to avoid using reveal and unless you think you can get a ton of burst damage while having it active the damage downside from it is just way too much and unless they buff this open and reduce that i strongly advise against using it as for the monsters they're nothing crazy so just use them if you want to if not it's probably fine as well they're also particularly effective when you do have true strength active so make sure to keep that in mind and lastly the air dash ability is really strong right now and you can use it as a counter when you need to get out of situations with the iframes or just throw it out for chip damage it's up to you and now that we know all of that about the oath, how do we counter that? First, like I mentioned earlier, the health drain from reveal is really insane, same with the wither effect. So if you ever see your opponent use that, just make sure to play it safe, try not to take too much damage, and your opponent will basically die on their own. If they don't activate that mode, then they will basically never have those really strong abilities active, and you can just play the game as normal, since the monsters aren't even that powerful either, I doubt you will have a hard time learning to parry them. And yeah, you shouldn't have to really worry about true strength unless they have like a cheese build that has a special crit, like I mentioned earlier, that can proc it easily. And if somehow people do find a weapon that works well with that and it ends up becoming meta, you can always just play it safe and wait for a true strength to just wear off since it doesn't even last that long anyway. And basically that's it, right now this oath isn't really that strong so just play as normal. Without the true strength this oath is basically nothing. Now all that being said, is this oath good or not? Now, honestly I think a lot of people just kind of freaked out when they saw all the slashes from this oath and people like going crazy with their combos. But if you just stay calm it's really not that hard to deal with this oath and I think as time goes on people will realize that this really isn't that strong right now. So yeah for sure you could definitely make this oath work. There's a lot of cool things about it but in my opinion this oath really is nothing insane right now and i hope they don't emergency nerf it or like over nerf it or anything and just give people time to feel it out and see how things go that's all for this video thanks for watching and like and subscribe for more top content see you in the next one